Okay, here we go. I have a Shark model HV300W and we're going to be changing the nozzle hose here. That um, apparently from what I see online they go bad quite often. So start from the bottom start taking things apart and this one certainly has a bad brush where it needs a good thorough cleaning and um, unlock the three nuts right here and this should pop up which it did also is a little bit clogged up so let's get some of this out of the way And I will start by removing several screws. I'm just going by what I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one here and here are a different size, so I'm going to have to keep those separate. Okay, that's a start. Now this nozzle top should come off. There's no hidden screws anywhere. Okay, that came off. There's a wire terminal here that connects to the circuit board. You can probably see it right here. So we're going to have to reconnect that later when we put it back together. Next step, we got to get this nozzle pivot out. And let's see what it looks like. Just leaned it forward and it disconnected from there. So that just kind of popped off. That was pretty easy. And now we got to get the hose out of the neck. Glued in there. Gonna have to break it out a little bit. Just removing it carefully so I don't break it. It has uh, self sticking tape on the back, but we could put a little bit of glue on that once we reassemble it so that shows uh, inside there where it it looks like it's glued in pretty good sealed the other end popped out pretty easy and you could see already where it's starting to split this is a very common problem so now seeing it's glued in I'm gonna have to just kind of 
tear it the rest of the way and kind of slowly pull out this old hose it's wire reinforced so it whatever plastic is connected to the wire pulls out with it so now this is completely wide open in here a little residue of some glue that was put in there so that's what we're going to do when we glue it again any type of rubber cement or uh, what i use is um, something called playa bond works very well with um, all types of hoses and and um, other products also okay so we got the one end out next we got to do the same thing basically with the other end just kind of force it out and There we go. Popped out completely. Now, the hard part is finding a hose. This is kind of a unique size that's used. And um, finding a hose is the next step. And if it's too long, you'll get a little hump where it bends and it would be hard to stand it upright so what I did was I just got just got a little steak knife here and um, cut the end off. Let me try and get a better view here. Okay, just went like. Uh, like this it won't go through the metal the steak knife but you just get it all the way around once you get it all the way around so it kind of looks like that I go ahead and get some side cutters they're kind of a thicker type wire cutter and just snap the metal wire and it's at the correct length so the correct length that i'm putting in here is it's about six and three quarter inches okay so that's ready to be installed first start with the um, end with the um, that's loose that that connects to the nozzle and uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of of once again this this plyo bond uh, it's good for a number of different products uh, including uh, rubber leather canvas steel fiberglass aluminum wood and glass okay works real good on uh, flexible hoses which is uh, plastic and um, that kind of it's it sets in about 30 minutes so it's fairly easy to put on the thing is though I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of wait a little bit um, because when I put this in this coupling here this round circle part has to line up right here in this opening here so if I twist the hose on too tight and it doesn't line up then I'm gonna have to back it off a little bit okay uh, so the hose simply threads in so that's real easy so I'm gonna put a little of this plyo bond 
on the inside of the coupling here. If you put it on the outside of the hose, it just gets a little gooey and as you thread it in, it kind of pushes the glue off. But, you know, it, it, it probably doesn't even need the glue because the force of the distance between the neck and the hose coupling will hold it into place also and there's no way it could unscrew by itself but this might seal up some of the air gaps uh, so you don't lose any suction so I'm not going to put a real lot on so just enough to seal it a bit this is a reverse thread so you have to for it to thread in you got to turn it counterclockwise to the left and that threads it in so now it's threaded in all the way up to there and you could see like the glue sealed around there now this is going to seal pretty quick so i'm gonna i'm gonna put a little bit on the inside of the coupling go from the top here and put just a little bit around in there and now I take the hose and thread it into here it's again counterclockwise so that's pretty tight okay it's going to set in place like this so my Round circle is pretty much lined up good. Just need a little bit more of a twist. And now that's going to be perfect right here. So the whole perimeter of uh, this coupling will go on the inside of this opening. And then this circle here will kind of slide right into the opening there. And that's then will be set in place. There we go. It's lined in there. Okay, now we slowly uh, put it back together, which should be a little bit easier. Starting with this wire loom here, there's kind of a channel here that the wires slide down into. And um, once you get the wires down in there, going to be a little tricky this might take a little while because they just want to move back out just using a little Phillips to push it in there then the wires go into the handle socket here so make sure all the wires are in this little bushing that protects the wires from rubbing against the socket I'm going to make sure all three wires are in the center of the opening the socket here has a little ridge here which has to line up with this slot there so if the wires cooperate it'll slide right in like that and like that so that's in there so then this, the two ends here, just slide, slide into the circular openings. Now getting back to these wires that popped out again. Let's get them back in there, down out of the way. So when we put the cover on, it doesn't, the cover doesn't crimp them. in there that's in there I'll put a link uh, on where to get this hose here's a um, looks like it might be a screw opening so make sure the wire doesn't cover this screw opening right here and these 
this bunch of wires here is tucked in the side there. Yeah, like I was saying, I'll put a link in uh, as to where I got the perfect hose for this. The other ones, the other two I showed you, one was too small, so it fit real loose in both ends, so there'd be a lot of air, air leaking. And the other one was physically too big, so you couldn't even thread it in there. And I'll give you a link for the plyo bond also. It's a good all-purpose um, um, glue that uh, can be used on quite a bit of things. Okay, this is down, ready to go. Um, and if I remember right, there is that wire loom we had to connect from the hood. It's uh, just a little um, push button and it looks like all this really is is a light indicating that the brush is on and off okay so that we simply line up and clip it into place there we go i'm not sure if you're able to see that but it's just a square plug rectangular plug into the, there's only one spot to put it so it's hard to mess up now as long as no wires are in it in the way you put everything the hood down into place and as you can see the hose is great it, it fits in there perfectly the arm pivots easily it locks into place when it's up, got to put the screws on for it to be completely done, but that's it. Here we go with the screws. And um, I did mention that, that we have this little O-ring. This could go on now or later. It simply probably be easier later when we get this locked into place but I, I'm just going to put a little dab of that uh, plyo bond adhesive around the circle here and drop it in there to place and then tap it down with a screwdriver I think we're good Here's, get this and like I said before, I believe I mentioned, I'll put a link in as to where to get the hose, the correct size hose for this one. And uh, also maybe the plyo bond, I'll put a link for that because it is um, a good product. And we go back to the other side. Now it snaps into place good so the handles stay up. And I'll, I'll get this gasket here. And I'll put a little bit of the plyo bond on it. I don't want to do it right on the vacuum. I'll get the glue all over the nozzle here. So put it on a paper towel and just dab it a little, a little bit the brush should be wearing gloves but um, I'll get the glue off my hands if I get any there okay so I'm gonna drop it into the opening here put the glue side down and put it back and tap it with the screwdriver. Now remember this takes about 30 minutes for the glue to set completely. This little gasket here I believe is actually just for the extension wand. When the wand slides down into there it just makes a better seal. So with that glue on there it'll stay in there permanently. If you end up losing or breaking that seal, I really don't think it'll cause a big problem. You might get a little bit of 
air leak, but nothing to be worried about. All right. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And I will get those um, um, other videos for other models uh, other than this particular model. And um, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.